All right, I just finished reflashing the uh, onboard charger. And um, if you've ever been married, I'm sure you're familiar with the term communication is key. Well, that is absolutely true in any car build, really, but uh, especially in in these EVs. This particular car, I know for such a small car, it actually has four CAN buses running the entire system. So getting everything to talk to each other um, error free is uh, quite the challenge. But maybe now is a pretty good time to give you a quick rundown of the electronic side of the car. Um, I have been asked a bunch of times about different stuff that I am running in this, so I thought why not, uh, in full disclosure, make a quick little video here. Um, before I get into it, I do want to say that I haven't been sponsored by any of these companies. Um, all of these items that we have used is just from careful research and really picking out you know, the industry best for what we're trying to do, um, and we're not supported or sponsored by any of these companies. That being said, I will leave a link in the description to all of the items that I'm talking about if you want to do your own research further. Again, we're not sponsored in any way by any of these companies. Um, so the quick little rundown is I am using the EV Controls T2C controller to run the Tesla uh, motors. Um, super cool. He is another Canadian fellow um, up in Ottawa and he is uh, extremely knowledgeable and very helpful. Um, and I'm essentially running that as a VCU. So it's handling contactor control and uh, all the motor control functions. Um, next to that, I am using a, a Vero BMS that if you watched the last video about the battery, I did touch on that a bunch more. So if you're curious about that, you can go back, check out that video it's for a little bit more in depth on that Vero BMS. Pretty cool system because it uses the factory Volkswagen CMUs to communicate with each module. Um, again, if that's something that you're interested in, check out that other video. Uh, next, we're using an ECU Masters PMU. So if you are familiar with those, I, you can skip this part of the video. If you are not, it is a power management unit. Um, in its simplest form, it is basically replacing the fuse block. It is a uh, software programmable. It handles all your power outputs for essentially power distribution for the whole car. But also importantly, it handles CAN bus communication for talking to all of these different modules and I can program different things to happen on the CAN bus that I want triggered by whatever I want. Um, through that ECU master. So super cool product. This is the first time I've ever used it and I'm very impressed with it. Uh, build quality is great. So far, functionality has been excellent. Uh, uh, to, I guess, carry on on the 12 volt side, we are using a EarthX battery. So that is a super lightweight, it's actually meant for certified aircraft, but it is a super lightweight 12 volt lithium battery running our low voltage side of things. Um, the charger is uh, a pretty cool little unit that, um, this is the first time I've ever used this company as well. It is a three-in-one water-cooled charger. So it does your DC to DC 12-volt um, support. It is the onboard charger for the car. And it also does bi-directional charging. So I haven't had that configured yet. Once I get that set up, this car should be able to do vehicle to everything bi-directional charging. So real excited about that. Um, if you want more information on that charger, I don't have a link for it, but get at me directly and I will uh, try to sort you out if, you're, if that's something that you're interested in. Okay, so... I guess um, that's a quick little rundown of what the electronics are on it. I do have, with that new firmware, I've got the DC to DC support voltage running the car, so the car is fully operational. I've got a bit of work to do on the charging system yet, um, on the, just the math with the, the charging system. but. The car is functioning and I have had it out for a couple of drives so far. So I'm sure you guys are tired of me rambling on about this thing, but why don't we skip to what you're really here for? I'm going to neaten up this wiring and then let's get on the road with this thing. <laughs> 